हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल बी टेकिंग कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड है ना फॉर आईसीएससी चैप्टर टू केमिकल बॉन्डिंग सो व्हाट इज कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू थ्रू एन एग्जांपल सो देयर आर टू कंपाउंड्स इन योर सिलेबस व्हिच कंटेन्स कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड द फर्स्ट इज हाइड्रोनियम आयन एंड द सेकेंड इज अमोनियम आयन लेट एस गो टू हाइड्रोनियम आयन ओके सो वॉट रियली इज ए हाइड्रोनियम आयन सी whenever we have some acid what is an acid suppose we have hcl suppose we have h2so4 suppose we have hno3 and so on and so on there are so many acids whenever an acid dissolves in water it releases h plus ions okay whenever an acid goes into water what does it give it gives h plus ion this h plus from hcl goes into water this is the property of maximum acids or most of the acids that they give h plus ion so what is it actually this h plus see hydrogen has one electron because it has atomic number 1 if hydrogen loses this one electron okay this one electron comes out of the hydrogen so what is hydrogen left with one proton so it has a positive charge you can also imagine it like something which is neutral in the beginning yes hydrogen atom is neutral and atom is neutral it loses an electron and hence it loses an electron which contains a negative charge and hence the atom gains a positive charge so this is h plus it has how many electrons zero electrons okay so how many electrons does h plus actually need so you have studied the octet theory why does an atom forms bond an atoms form bond to gain eight electrons in the valence shell in its outer most shell an atom must have eight electrons okay but there is an exception to it what is the exception hydrogen hydrogen only needs two electron in the outer most shell now you will ask why because the next noble gas to hydrogen is helium yes hydrogen over here in the periodic table then helium and helium has how many electrons in the outer most shell only two electrons hence hydrogen will be very happy if it gets somehow how many electrons two electrons okay now we have h2o okay this acid is dissolved in water what is water water is h2o so what is the structure of h2o let us try to draw so you have oxygen atomic number 8 so configuration will be 2 comma 6 and you have hydrogen atomic number 1 so configuration will be 1 so in lewis structure we only draw the outermost electron what electrons the outermost electron so for oxygen i'll be drawing only six electrons 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay so we have two hydrogen over here one hydrogen comes from this side another one comes from this side so hydrogen has how many electron one electron let us donate denote the electron of hydrogen with a cross not with a dot with a cross now you see oxygen will need how many electrons eight electrons every atom tries to tries to achieve an octet eight electrons in the outermost shell oxygen has six it needs two more so it asks for one electron from this hydrogen and one electron from this hydrogen okay so what happens with this electron does hydrogen donates this electron to oxygen no it just shares this electron okay and over here also shares the electron so now oxygen has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 what about hydrogen hydrogen needs total of two electron it already has one electron so it gain another electron it already has one electron so it gain another electron from oxygen so it also shared electron so hydrogen has now its duplet complete what is duplet duplet means two electrons this also has duplet complete and oxygen what about oxygen oxygen now has its octet complete eight electron in outermost shell what is this kind of bond c in this bond hydrogen donated one electron oxygen also donated one electron now this electron belongs to hydrogen as well as hydrogen oxygen as well as hydrogen and this electron belongs to hydrogen as well as oxygen so this electron is 
mutually share mutually share mutually means each one contributing to the sharing not only one atom is bearing it you know both are donating something both are sharing something it shares one electron it shares one equal sharing and over here also what is happening mutually sharing what is mutually shared bond called it is called covalent bond what kind of bond covalent bond and what is this one this is also a covalent bond so these two bonds are covalent now what about this h plus which has came into water because an acid is dissolved this acid gave h plus and over here we have water so this h plus comes crying for two electrons to this water now water is stable yes water is stable oxygen has eight electrons octet complete hydrogen has its duplet complete there is a good covalent bond mutual sharing contributing one electron each in the bond they are okay fine but this hydrogen h plus needs needs how many electron two electron now how will it get two electrons see these two electron of oxygen which are not participating in sharing are called as are called as are called as i'll talk about it here here are called as lone pair of electron what lone pair lone because they are alone over there and pair because there are two electrons now oxygen thought of something it said okay fine you take my two electrons but i'll have this arrow with myself what does this arrow means that i have donated this electron to you this electron does not belong to you this is my electron you just keep it for sharing purpose but it is actually mine so these two electrons belongs to whom hydrogen or oxygen now after sharing they belongs to both but still oxygen has an upper hand you know oxygen behaves like okay hydrogen you have it h plus these two electrons you have it but still i'll be called donor and you will be called acceptor so such a bond in which both the electrons of the sharing are contributed only by one atom or here you see or here one electron is contributed by hydrogen one is given by oxygen but what happens here oxygen gives both the electrons of sharing so this is not a mutual sharing okay such a bond such a bond is called coordinate bond also what is a coordinate bond when an atom having two extra electron what are they called lone pair and this atom must have its octet complete this does not need any extra electron and some atoms come from here how many electron it needs it needs two electron so this atom donates two electron to this atom and they make a pact okay these electrons i have given to you but at finally these electron belongs to me so arrow always points from the donor atom towards the acceptor atom okay so such a bond such a bond is called a coordinate bond so here we have a coordinate bond now this plus charge won't vanish see overall this hydrogen is still has a deficiency of two electrons okay fine oxygen has given it electron but overall there is a still a deficiency so we will write it like h3o plus and we will close it in brackets now why so when we will look at the structure of h3o plus you cannot tell this is coordinate bond this is covalent bond this is covalent bond all these are imagination these arrow what do you think water molecule actually has arrow when acids fall into it no not at all so these are just imagination so plus charge is over here the plus charge can be on this hydrogen this hydrogen as well as this hydrogen so these are two covalent bond and this is one coordinate bond okay now let us see the structure of ammonia ion nh4 plus so somehow from some acid what comes into play now we are talking about what we are talking about ammonium ion so from some acid we get what h plus again and now we will have ammonia with us what ammonia now ammonia is a base so acid will react with base okay so what is ammonia made up of nh3 so nitrogen atomic number 7 configuration will be 2 comma 5 hydrogen atomic number 1 configuration will be 1 so we will be drawing only the outermost shell electron so nitrogen has five electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 
and hydrogen has one electron and how many hydrogen three so one from this side one from this side and one from this side okay now nitrogen needs a total of eight electrons it has one two three four five so shares one shares one more and shares one more now nitrogen has one two three four five six seven eight such bonds are called covalent bond okay the topic here is coordinate bond covalent is an easy thing okay so one covalent two covalent and three covalent bond hydrogen has one two one two one two so everyone over here has its octet complete about nitrogen and hydrogen has its duplet complete and what kind of sharing they are taking place what kind of sharing they have done agreed upon they have agreed upon mutual share you contribute one electron i will contribute one now these two electrons which does not take part in bond are called lone pair now who comes h plus come it says i need how many electron two electrons so nitrogen says okay i will become donor you become accepted and accept these two electrons now these two electrons belongs to you as well as to me and such a bond will be called coordinate bond okay so there are three covalent bond covalent 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 and one coordinate bond and we will write the formula like nh4 plus because we really don't know where the plus charge is on this on this on this on this you know what happens actually you cannot uh, you cannot distinguish that this is the coordinate bond when this is the Co uh, covalent bond yes we know that in ammonium ion there are three covalent and one coordinate bond see every year in icsc these questions are asked either draw the structure of hydronium ion or draw the structure of ammonium ion sometimes it is said like this when an acid dissolves in water an ion is produced see when an acid dissolves in water when acid dissolves in water an ion is produced so acid gives h plus but h plus does not exist individually it goes and combines with h2o to form h3o plus so what is this hydronium ion what is this hydronium ion i hope you can draw these structures now thank you